Good morning, guys. Let's see if I can focus right here. So it's currently 4.35, and um, I wake up at 4.25, so first thing I did was make my bed. Today I'm gonna take you guys through my morning routine. Um, I know usually by the time you see me, it's in my car, I've already done my cardio, finished my morning routine that I'm talking about, but I thought it'd be good to switch things up a little bit and, you know, take you through where my mindset's at and how I'm able to stay so consistent every single day. The morning routine that gets me into that flow state so that I can make those videos and so that I can continue to make the impact that I wanna make on the world. I'm just gonna go task by task, showing you guys what I do, then we're gonna hit the gym. So let's get after it. I wanna talk about the wake up a little bit. I've been waking up at 425 for, I can't even remember how long, I think people that count when they're doing things plan on quitting, and that's why they're counting. I just decided that this is what I was going to do. It's been uh, a few hundred days, I think, and I have not missed once. Literally, as soon as I get out of bed, this morning I'm very sore, and you can probably hear I'm super congested. My, my, my throat is sore. You know my story a little bit. I don't have a spleen because of a really bad injury that I had prior to my lifting journey that I started. So I can pick up viruses, uh, things like that really, really fast. Like if I just get a common cold, uh, I can hold that for, for a really long time. So that's why I prioritize my health so much and, and I try to eat so healthy. It's just because I kind of have to, right? Or else I'm just consistently living like this and it sucks. But the very first thing that I will do, well, there's my alarm going off again. The very first thing that I'll do, is I'll sit down here at my desk, at my monitor. This is where all the magic happens. This is where I create all the programs that I use in my business. But I'll sit down uh, to my little journal. And what I have right here is basically the 545 method. You can see that it's what I write almost every single day. Um, and then like you can see my journal entries, everything like that. If this is your first time here, the 545 method is what I've created from looking back at how I changed my life so drastically through this personal development journey. And I realized that the biggest problem that keeps people from getting started is analysis paralysis. They're looking for the perfect scenario, the perfect routine, and the routine that really got me started, I went back and I analyzed it. And when it was broken down to its main components, five goals, a four-step morning routine that reflects those goals and gets you in a flow state that is able to think properly, that is able to work hard, and that, that is like in a positive state of mind to start attacking your day. And then the last part of the 545 method would be five actionable tasks, the most important things that you need to get done during the day. So my five goals, I'll write them down every single morning. In this stage, I've had these written down for about a month. I don't sit here and write like 2024 20, goals or things like that. My life is just consistently evolving, right? Like I would go through like a new year cycle every couple months because as I complete goals, I'm consistently creating new ones to check them off. But these I've been doing for a while and this morning routine has been the morning routine that I've probably done for the past year. Now I've switched it up, I've added things, I've subtracted things, but I always end up going right back to this morning routine because it is just so fundamental and I see myself making the most progress and making the best state of mind when I'm doing this morning routine. So I made my bed obviously, very first thing I do, 32 ounces of water, I've got that right here. I'm still a little foggy headed and, and everything like that. The number one thing I can tell you that if, if you're battling with an early wake up, and I went to bed at like 11 last night because I was working on um, a diagram that I'm gonna be making, or I'm gonna be making a video for you guys about that. I think it'll be very beneficial, but the number one thing I can tell you besides not having your phone near you before you go to bed, like my phone's all the way downstairs, I won't even go get on it until I go outside and do my push-ups, I'll show you guys that. And then I bought myself a little alarm clock um, you can literally just use your phone, put it on the other side of the room. So when that alarm goes off, you have no choice but to get up. And 
once you're up, if you're getting back into bed, you're just giving back into too much fucking comfort. Like I'll say that I, I have had some clients that have struggled with that. And we've worked through that, but you really need to hold yourself to a higher standard if you're getting all the way out of bed to turn your alarm off and then getting back in because that's worked for me. Once I've gotten up, I can't bear to feel like so much of a bitch that I would get back in my bed, uh, if that makes sense. But that's just me personally. There's definitely a bunch of things. If you can instantly get down and do 50 pushups or instantly drink your 32 ounces of water, that will also really help. Um, but that's the very first thing I like to do is just hydrate. There's some lemon and some salt in here. Gets my metabolism going and it literally feels like I'm refreshing my whole brain. It's like I'm, I'm rehydrating. That's what I'm doing in the morning. So I'm gonna drink this and then we're gonna move on to step number two of my four step morning routine. So if you can see that, I write down, make my bed. Obviously I have more than a four step morning routine, but when I was getting started, this would have been too much for me to accomplish because I would have just been way too unfocused, right? I'm not gonna sit here and read you guys through my goals. I don't feel like you should, I don't feel like you should really talk about goals that you haven't made strides towards. Now like one of the goals on here is I'll reach 50,000 subscribers on YouTube because that's a big part of my life. You know, I get a lot of leads from my business. This is how I change people's lives, but I genuinely enjoy educating and providing value to my YouTube. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. That's something I'll talk about, you know, like I've got, a, a, um, a revenue goal for how much money I want to bring in and generate this year and things like that. But as far as my goals go, I kind of like to keep that private until I'm you know, about to succeed that. I feel like a lot of people will make the mistake of being like, oh, this is going to be my goal. And then they go tell everyone and they get that little dopamine hit of completing it and then they never take action on it. Now, I don't think I'd fall into that trap anymore, but that's just a habit I've created. So I'm going to keep it like that but I want to show you guys. So we had, we had make bed. Oh, I'm, I'm real close. I'm just going to grab my camera. And, and so we had, let's see, make bed, finish, 30 tons of water, finish. So next, these are the steps you'll see. Journal, I'm going to do my morning push-ups outside that's what I'm going to uh, post on my Instagram story. If any of you guys are, are doubtful about my, my 425 wake up, you can just head over to my Instagram. I'll link it somewhere. I'll, I'll link it somewhere. It's, that, it's in the description, but I'll try to link it in this video. And then I do 10 minutes of meditation and then I do a cold shower. And then I start my five actionable tasks. So this is where I'm gonna write my journal. Same thing as I did yesterday. It's what I've always been doing. Um, I just started writing my 545 method in this book. I used to write it in this one, but I decided it was best to just have one journal that I could take with me everywhere. I didn't have to like, I didn't like having to take two around with me. But you guys can see like, this is one of the things I've been just the most consistent on. I think it's just so beautiful to be able to go back and look and see how your writing has progressed, how your thoughts have progressed, how your goals have progressed, things like that. I'm gonna grab my old journal real fast. And now, I've got a few more of these, obviously, but I don't want to, um, you know, I don't wanna sit there and go through every single one of my journals. That'll be a, a, another video for you guys. In my school community, in my private school community where I teach everyone, um, you know, how to dial in their morning routine. I teach them about the 545 method, about mindset, habits, nutrition, and training. Um, I give them my training programs, all those things. Um, whenever they make requests about things that they really wanna learn about, I'll just do specific like videos just for them and I'll post it in there. So I did like a 40 minute video on journaling specifically and I used all the examples of, you know, throughout my past. We're actually gonna do a group call with them at 8 a.m. That's part of my day today. So. You guys will get to see that, but this is one of the journals that I took them through. This is my most recent journal, but you guys can see like every single day in here. I hope you can see this if it's focused, but every single day in here is like just completely covered. Completely. Like this was just back in January, but a lot of people, a lot of people will sit there and I've got a couple entrepreneur friends that are rich. Right, and, and, and one of my guys, um, love him to death. He just, 
you know, I'll say he's wired different than me. He doesn't wake up early. He doesn't journal. He doesn't read books, any of that. And I believe there's multiple different personality types. And for me, I've tried that. I've tried to sit there and just not read, not journal, nothing. I, it just doesn't work for me. I genuinely believe that the only factor that you need to have to be successful is to just be able to make yourself do the work. 100% agree with that. But I think that there are so many different personality types and I think a majority of people need to exercise their brain by reading. They need to visualize and reflect their thoughts on paper through journaling. Journaling has given me so much more ambition and drive. When I write something down, it's like solidified into my brain. And being able to go back and read my journal entries and see how I've progressed has just been amazing for me. It takes an extra couple minutes. Some people might be like, oh, that takes away from my productivity. I'm optimizing for how I can continue to get better and better and better. Because yes, I love business. But as Jim Rohn said, your bank account balance doesn't overly exceed personal development. A lot of people are trying to just chase like a financial goal without becoming the person who can achieve that goal. That's why I always talk about, and I always say this, is chase a character, not a goal. So if you chase that character, who can achieve it? It's not about how to do something. It's about becoming the man who can. And that's what I do by journaling. And that's why I've been able to quantify my progress and be like, I'm physically becoming this man that I've envisioned, that I'm chasing every single day, the highest version of me. And that just reinforces so much drive and, and motivation inside of me, even when times are shit. Because I'll be honest, as soon as I woke up this morning, the last thing I wanted to do was make a video. But I told myself I'm gonna make a video. I wrote it on my little power list. So I'm getting after it and I'm gonna make a video for you guys and I'm gonna put it out and hopefully it's a banger. But even if, even if it's not, if I'm impacting one or two people that see this video, because most people will see it and they'll be like, yeah, whatever. But when I'm speaking to the younger version of me, if I would've seen this video and taken action of it, I could've changed my life so much faster and gotten out of that deep, dark fucking state that I was in. And, and that's, that's what gets me out of that bed every single morning. So, like I said, next I'm gonna journal a page, then we're gonna go outside, do, do my 50 push-ups, post it on Instagram, 10 minutes of meditation, cold shower, and then we'll start my five actionable tasks. So I'm gonna start journaling right now. So I finished writing that and it's a little it's a little late. I think it's already like about to be 5 a.m. Usually I'm out there by 440 posting my push-ups, but I've sat here and I've talked to the camera for like 20 minutes. I don't know how much of that's gonna make it in the video. But um yeah, I'll be posting my push-ups a little late, but it's all good. A big thing that I've I've noticed is a lot of people are stuck on journaling, and I've seen some different things, people being like, Dear diary, today I didn't feel good. I don't really believe in that. To each their own. For me, when I start, I just write the date, 2nd March, um, 2020. Uh, oh, I wrote 2023, that's crazy. That's crazy that we're just preachers of habit. Um, I wrote 2nd March, and um, yeah, I'll fix the date right there. But I see a lot of people, they struggle again because it's like they're thinking too much. Thinking is the best thing to do, but not when you just need to take action. I just put my pen to the paper and the thoughts just start flowing. Sometimes it doesn't even make sense. Sometimes it's just best to get what I'm thinking out on paper. So I was putting off making this video because I didn't want to just be, not because I didn't want to be, but because I'm still human and some things can still be a little like, um, you know, embarrassing. Like I've been on YouTube for three months and sitting here and, you know, being honest with you guys, because I'm never gonna try and portray myself as someone I'm not. This is just the life that I live. Um, but being honest with you guys and like reading my journal entry, like that's it's a little odd, but I'm gonna do it anyways because those of you who can take this information and use it, it's gonna be beneficial too. So this is just what came out of me this morning. Each day I will continue to chase perfection. My bar of excellence will be 
will continue to rise as I exceed my limits daily. I know and have seen firsthand that the work instills the worth in me and my fulfillment comes directly from the work I put out and the people that I help. I will push myself to failure. I will not stop creating the greatest version of man that I can become. The righteous man is delivered by his virtue, but the fool is destroyed by his own wickedness. I promise to myself that I will never quit. No matter how high the mountain or how low the valley, my persistence will prevail. Failure hates persistence, but breeds wisdom. If I never quit, I can never truly fail. So that right there, that took up the page. Right there. You can see it's usually a theme where I'll write, like, I'm making commitments as to how I'm going to hold, like, my character during the day. And then I might write, like, a little quote that reminds me of what I'm supposed to do. And then I am basically writing myself into action. And some people might be like, that's unnecessary, that's extra. It helps me. That literally took me, like, three minutes. Three minutes, and it just... My, my mind is racing, my mind is clear. 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, I was feeling sore, sick, tired, and didn't want to get out of bed. Now, um, I've only done three things on my morning routine, and if I wasn't videoing, that would have taken me like 15 minutes max. I'm gonna go outside and do my push-ups, and that's when it starts going to the next level. By the time I get out of the cold shower, I'm gonna be buzzing and ready to go, and I'll be able to attack my day, and we're gonna go hit cardio. So let's go bust out those push-ups right now. As I'm walking downstairs, um, I recently just finished one of the best books I've ever read, probably. It's called Your Next Five Moves. It's a, a book that's about the, the art of business strategy by an entrepreneur named uh, Patrick Bet David. He's got a huge YouTube channel. He's got a huge, basically he's building an un, unbiased media outlet. I think he's doing a pretty good job at that. Um, obviously it's pretty difficult to be completely unbiased in, in today's world, but um, yeah, he's doing that. And one of the best books that I've ever read, hands down, especially when it pertains to business, but it can just pertain to life. Even if you're not a business owner, it can pertain to life. The way he basically compares the way that a chess grandmaster thinks five moves ahead, 15 moves ahead about how you should plan your life like that. And I'm always, I've always noticed that I've thought steps ahead, but you don't want to think too far ahead and not focus on the micro at all, but it's always good to be planning your next move and analyzing how people around you are moving and how you can benefit your mission, not in a selfish way, but in an impactful way. Because if you know that you truly are on a mission to change the world, to impact lives, you're going to try and look out for your own mission because it's going to be helpful to people. So great book just thought i'd recommend that to you guys um headed downstairs right now okay so you can see on my coffee maker it is 508 i'll make a cup of coffee um when i get back in this is about to be all my phone stays right here every single morning and then like this is the first time I get on it. You can see 509. Um, I guess it's backwards for you guys, but whatever. And um, I'll take a peep at some emails. Um, all the people who want to be me commenting on my YouTube, commenting hate. Um, it's probably not best to look at in the morning, but I don't really mind. It gives me more motivation. But yeah, I'll head outside right now. This is, it's, it's peaceful out here. Listen to this. Nobody's awake. There's nothing, there's nothing better than this. Like, look at this guy. I feel like my mind has, I just sit here and I'm like, how blessed am I that I get to do this every day? I get to push myself. I get to come out here. Everyone else is asleep. I get to live because I chose to wake up early. I chose to chase my goals. And I don't, even, I don't feel like that every morning, obviously. I don't feel like that. I'm trying to whisper and not yell um, because people are sleeping, but how wonderful is it that I get to just come out here, push myself every single day, 
and see what I'm truly capable of. See what I can achieve. And I'm, I'm not coming out here trying to see what can I get by with. I'm trying to see how much can be done each day. That's what I want to see. So I literally, here's the secret. I put my phone in that corner right here. I'll show you guys. Literally like that. And I'm also going to put you guys right there. And I'm going to do my morning push-ups. the video oh my gosh I just locked myself outside oh. jeez dude that sucks so at the apartment complex that I live in, um, they don't really give you a code. There's a little key fob. And I just made a rookie mistake because it's 5 a.m. No one is gonna be up. And I just locked myself outside. Well, time to turn this problem into an opportunity and see what I can do. So I guess whenever I get back inside, I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Just got saved. This guy came outside, he was having his like, smoking his morning cig. And, wow, <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna get back in here for a minute. So, things like that don't usually happen. I'm usually right back inside. Um, I'm a little behind, but I still got plenty of time to jump in the freezing cold shower. And um, I'm gonna do my meditation, not on camera, because if I film the 10 minutes, it's going to take up way too much space. So, I gotta get after it right now. Um, but yeah, it's like, I could have let that fuck up my whole morning. I felt me being wanted to be like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? But it's like, that's the things that are out of my control, right? What can we control besides our emotional state and our mental state? So that's just a tiny little problem. Like, in the scheme of things, okay, no big deal. Like, I'm not going to die, whatever. But I can sit there and be like, oh, it's freezing cold. I have no shirt on. My toes are cold. Everyone's asleep. No one's going to wake up, right? But what does that do for me? We can use that framework in life. It's like if you're stranded in the situation you're in right now, you can look at all the negatives. Or you can sit there and be like, okay, what can I learn from this? How can I get better? Now, I don't know what I learned from that. I don't know if it was just for the video. I don't know if that guy needed a... A, a friendly smile this morning. I don't fucking know, right? But I'm gonna overcome it, and maybe that little problem right there is gonna put me in even more of a flow state to conquer my day. Maybe that problem resonates with one of you guys, and it's going to impact you in a big way. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to let anything come between me and what I need to get done in the day. All I can do is hold myself utmost accountable and do the shit that needs to be done. Let's jump in the cold shower. Morning physique's looking like, I think we're sitting at like 217 right now. But um, I'm gonna head over to this shower. Freezing cold. I will say, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be like a, a luxury apartment, I guess you would say. And the one thing that they just did not fucking try on was this shower. Like everything's super nice, like everything in the apartment size. And then look at this damn shower head. <laughs> I just, I think that's fun. Like, I mean, no complaints. 
I can take my cold shower in it. Some people don't have a shower, I'm blessed, but <laughs> I just think it doesn't really match the whole like uh, nice setup we got going on here. But, so the cold shower, one and a half to two minutes. I, I don't time it, I literally just get in there and I count to 120. That's what I do. And um, it's, I try to get it as cold as possible. I think cold shower is great, it has great health benefits. It definitely clears out my sinuses and everything, but that's not why I take it. I take it because even though I've been getting in a cold shower every morning for two years, when it is 5 a.m. like it is right now, and I'm standing in front of that water, everything in my body is telling me, this sucks, don't do it, you don't have to do this, don't. Now, I was just outside in like 30 degrees with my shirt off and my toes freezing for like 30 minutes, so it's not gonna be as bad this morning, but most of the times, I haven't spoke a word, I'm not talking to a video camera, I'm just standing in front of it, and when I break it down to its smallest bit, I'm literally like, this is just water that is cold. My body interprets this as cold and makes me not wanna do it. But the action of me Stepping towards my fear every single morning eliminates all anxiety, all stress I have about the problem and getting in there and just the wave of just like shock hitting my body because the water's so cold and then forcing myself to stand in it. Once I'm in it, it's not that bad, but it's just that action of going head first into what I don't want to do, into what's uncomfortable and starting my day with that. That is what just completes my routine and sets me up on such a good frequency to attack today. So that's what I'm gonna get after right now. My battery's on half, so I'm literally gonna jump in this cold shower, put my battery on the charge after, make some coffee, and then we'll head to the gym to do some cardio. So, cold shower completed, and again, because I got stuck outside, I'm running a little late on time than usual. So I'm gonna go downstairs, Throw on my gym clothes and then we're gonna head to the gym to do some stretching some abs and some cardio since it's Saturday and get back here in time for my group call let's go man like is that just not beautiful how could you guys not want to just Enjoy life in the silence, man. I just, I can't stop repeating over and over. How blessed am I? You know, I may be light years away from the goals that I want to achieve. But I have breath in my lungs. I have strength in my muscles. I have determination in my mind. I've got ambition in my soul, in there's nothing greater, there's no greater blessing than being able to pursue the greatest version of me possible. Because what else can we do besides see how much of our potential can we bring out? How much could I do today? The troughs and the peaks of negative state, positive state will always be in your life. You'll never get out of it, but it comes down to not how high can your positive states be, but how shallow can you keep your negative state? At the end of the day, it's not about no fat. It's not about stopping the drugs. It's not about, you know, waking up early and taking the cold shower, right? These things in and of themselves are not going to make you successful. They're not going to get you to your goals specifically but they keep you out of the negative cycle. Are there successful people that watch porn, smoke weed, and eat shitty food? For sure. But they're not successful in every area, I guarantee you. They might be successful in one, one area. And when you're chasing the highest version of yourself, you're chasing success in every area, not just financial, not just physical, not just mental, all of them, right? Your personality, the way you look, the way you think, the way you hold yourself, everything. And to achieve that, that full self-mastery, if you're consistently indulging in all of those vices that keep you in a negative state longer, because they do, there's a cycle. Anger leads to drive, 
Drive leads to pride, and pride leads to comfort. Comfort leads back to anger with your situation. We're humans. You're not going to always be in a positive state 24-7. But the more you exercise the mental capability of realizing I'm in a low frequency state, I need to get out of it. The faster you can go from low frequency state to high frequency state, the faster you'll become successful and the more progress you'll start to make, right? Now, if every time you go into a low frequency state, you revert right back to porn, right back to the drugs, right back to sleeping in, you're gonna stay in a low frequency state longer because it is scientifically proven that all of these things, indulging in these things, puts you where you are just looking to consume and not to create. So can you be successful without adding those things in? For sure, there's some examples. But most people do not have the discipline to do all those things and still do the work. That's why I preach that it is so important. If I still go into negative states, but if every time I went into a negative state, I went right back to the porn, I went right back to the drugs, I went right, right back to the going out, the going out late, going to the bars, doing all these things, my my feedback loop would be way longer. I'd be in a negative state for so much longer. Because I don't do those things and I go into a negative state, but I still wake up at 425, I still do my work, still do my morning routine, I still write down my goals, I'm able to get out of that negative state so much faster and catch it and catch myself and identify what led to that. And the more you can do that, the more you can see what's leading me down a bad path, the faster you'll be able to fix your situation. And that's what we wanna do. So if you're always in a negative state, indulging in porn, drinking, eating shitty food, all of these things, you're going to be completely plummeting your self-confidence and you're gonna stay in a low frequency state for longer, feeling like you can't accomplish anything, feeling like the world's against you, seeing every opportunity as a problem instead of an opportunity. And then you wonder, why can I make progress? And that is the cycle of despair that I talk about. It is because it's inevitable. You're gonna go back down, but when you go back down, do not revert to your old habits. That's why you have to build new ones. Trust me, my mind still in low frequencies wants to go and just smoke, wants to go and drink, wants to go watch porn, all these things. I still have these desires, right? But it is so ingrained in me to not because I've built these good habits that it's not even a question. It's not like some, well, it's only a matter of time before I fall back into that. No. I don't identify with that. I I will not. I don't care what's thrown at me. I won't go back into those temptations. There's still temptations because I'm human, but that burning desire, that needing to go do them is not there anymore. That I used to have. I used to it used to be an overwhelming urge that I would just have to give into because I had built habits out of my bad habits, out of my low frequency activities. Now when you just completely transcend that and you realize as soon as I get that feeling, as soon as I get that feeling to go jerk off, as soon as I get that feeling to go eat shitty food, all I have to do is put myself in a high frequency, put myself in a flow state by making a video, creating a piece of content, calling a friend and helping them through a problem that they're, that they're in, creating something that's been on your mind for months, writing that paper, finishing that assignment, working with that client that you needed to to do outreach on, something that is not consumption and that is creation, it will instantly put you into a high frequency. For me, the biggest thing is going and killing a workout, even when I don't want to. But the more that I'm able to identify what puts me in a low frequency state and what puts me in that state of negativity, the faster I'm able to get back out and the more progress I can make. That's why I progress so rapidly because my cycle might be one day. My cycle might be a couple hours. I might go into a low frequency state, realize it, transcend it, and be back in an extremely positive state by the end of the day. And then I'm not stuck in it for weeks or months at a time going backwards and I'm only taking steps forward. That is the secret that you guys need to start applying. Stop getting so obsessed on whether no fap works, whether this works or that works, and start understanding why 
people are making progress, the fundamentals and how you can apply it to your own life and you'll start seeing crazy amounts of progress. I give you guys my framework, my blueprint, and you can copy it at first because the best form of starting is to mimic, but eventually it has to be created into your own. You have to have your own soul energy in it, your own creative thought process. I don't copy anyone else's routine. I take ideas, bits and pieces from people, take ideas, bits and pieces of, of videos, but I put my own soul into the mix. It's mine, no one else's. That's what you have to do. But I started by mimicking others. And then it became my own process through trial and error and through my own experience. So I'm giving you guys a guide and you guys can implement it into your own life so that you can progress at supersonic rates. So that was my hip flexor stretch. I do that because it helps my balance, helps my tibia a lot. I've seen so much benefit in doing that. When I'm barbell squatting, I have so much more stability and my depth on squat, it's crazy. Maybe I'll put a little uh, clip in there of me squatting so you guys can see. done everything everything's finished now i'm gonna go hit this the stairmaster and really just try to squeeze through my hamstrings and they'll be done there All right, just finished my active recovery. It took me about an hour and it's always so good. Like it just, it's always amazing. That hip flexor stretch I do on the BOSU ball just makes my hip flexors feel so good. And rolling out always feels great, but specifically today, because I did an insanely intense, I mean, all my workouts are insanely intense, not gonna lie, but my leg day the other day was just nasty, brutal. Like six plates for like 14 reps. I think I got it on video. I might put it in right here. But that was absolutely great. And just stretching out my legs and walking on the, the Stairmaster with so much intensity to squeeze the muscle after my legs are just so sore always feels amazing. But the camera's about to die. I've got the group call in about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna zoom back to the crib, get ready for that, plug the camera battery up, and then we'll, we'll get after it. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so we are back. My camera battery died, but I just got a shower. It is. 7.45, so I've got the group tribe meeting in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna pour another cup of coffee, then we're gonna go upstairs. I've got some notes taken, some things I wanna talk about. Um, it's really just a mastermind with a bunch of intelligent, driven men of all ages, really. You know, I've got 16 year olds in there, I've got people that are 33 in there, and we get in there and we just absolutely kill it. And um, it's just a huge frequency raiser and I'm already buzzing this morning. Um, I found a direct correlation between the amount of problems I can solve in the morning and 
how high of a frequency I operate in the rest of the day. So stop looking at problems as problems and start looking at them as opportunities to better yourself and to uh, continue to get better on your journey. So yeah, I'm gonna pour another cup of coffee and we're gonna head upstairs and we're gonna get after that meal. And then I'm gonna take you guys through what I would usually eat for my first meal. Now it's Saturday, so I'm gonna eat a little bit earlier. It's kind of my reward after the group call because um, I intermittent fast in the morning. And so I'll probably just do protein for breakfast because I do have some work, some client programs, and I have a sales call later today. Um, so I wanna make sure I'm fresh. I don't wanna put too many carbs in me. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys through the whole entire Saturday, what a normal Saturday would look like for me. and. Um, yeah, I don't really take weekends. I still work. This is what I love doing. This is my purpose. I, uh, I take Sundays and, and, and I rest a little bit. I try to spend a little time with family. If possible, you know, I go to church. I try to keep Sunday as my day to, to recoup, but I always find myself working a little bit just because, um, you know, it always feels beneficial for me to push my business forward and push myself forward. So let's head upstairs and get after that call. So guys, again, apologize for the echo. I'm gonna go get another mic from Best Buy today. But um, I'm about to hop on my group call here, starting in about 11 minutes, um, checking off a couple more of the tasks from this morning's, uh, you know, five-step task list. I call it my get shit done list that I, that I write out every single day. But I'm going to go ahead and jump on the call. I'm going to put a, probably a couple snippets in there, but I'm also posting it on my channel. So if you're interested in listening to the whole entire group call that I do with my uh, school community, you can go and you can find it on my channel. By the time this video is up, that video will definitely be up. But we're going to do this and then we're going to have our first meal and then I'm going to take y'all through some of, you know, what it just looks like for me on a work day and what I would do the rest of the day to stay productive, to continue to produce things and do tasks that are going to help me reach my goals faster. So um, yeah, let's get into this call right now and I'll uh, see you guys after this. Don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. And it's like we always fall into the trap of like, why is this so hard? Why does that just have to happen to me? It wouldn't matter if you were just better. I just want to add real quick and connect also to one of the points that Tristan wanted to make. All right guys, I just finished up the group call. Camera died in the middle again because I got to charge the battery for maybe three minutes. But now it's about almost 10 o'clock. Like I said this morning, I usually don't eat until about one. But since it is Saturday, that's kind of like my little reward is I give myself a meal a little bit earlier. I did cardio this morning. Haven't eaten since probably eight last night. So I'm very hungry, but I'm looking pretty shredded. So it's all good. I'm gonna eat just a protein meal and then I'm gonna go back upstairs, do some more work. I'm gonna probably get started with the rest of my day. But for breakfast, I'm going to have some cage-free pasture-raised eggs. Then I'm gonna have some grass-fed pasture-raised ground beef. This is 90-10, so 90% lean, 10% fat. Obviously, no added hormones, no antibiotics, anything. I pay the extra money because it is good for you. I can't even eat disgusting, you know, antibiotic ground beef anymore like I used to a couple years ago because it, I can just taste it, it's awful. Make sure everything you're getting is grass-fed. This is some organic cheese as well. And then I have some um, grass-fed Kerrygold Irish butter. That's gonna be my breakfast. I'm gonna throw that in the pan right now, get to cooking and show you guys what it looks like after. Obviously this is a pound, so this is 16 ounces. It's so easy to just keep it in the same package and just use half. I need to go to Whole Foods and I need to get some plastic bags. But what I do is I'll literally put a little tear in it just like that. This makes it so easy. Once the pan is nice and buttered up, usually I put peppers um, in my meal because I'm not eating till one, but obviously I'm not doing any carbs, so I can't do that. This is the easiest way to do it. I literally squeeze about half. I know that that right there is about eight ounces because it's half the pan. Fold this over, throw it in a Ziploc bag, and then I can use the other half and it's all good. I'm gonna cook the beef first, obviously, and then once it gets 80% done, I'll throw a couple eggs in there, fry them, and then I'm gonna have a couple slices of cheese on top. That's gonna be my breakfast.
Go ahead and season the beef with some Himalayan pink salt. Usually I'd only do three eggs with this. I did four because I wasn't gonna leave one egg in the carton. Um, it is a little bit overload on protein. It's probably upwards of 75 grams. I'm gonna check when I track my macros in my app. I usually do it after I have the meal so I know exactly what I'm using. Um, I use the exact same apps that I put all my clients on to make sure that they're getting all of their food completely dialed in so they can reach their goals properly. However, I do not buy into the fact that you can only digest 30 grams of protein. I think that's fucking bullshit. It's completely fake. And everyone that says it has a worse physique than me and doesn't know what they're talking about and has no pictures in their profile. So um, that's complete BS. Do as you will, but I'm gonna keep getting my clients results and I'm gonna keep looking fucking jacked. So I think my method is definitely reign superior. All right guys, back at my desk. That's what we're working with on the meal. I've got eight ounces of ground beef, four eggs, a couple slices of cheese. Now I'm gonna eat this at my desk because if I eat downstairs, I don't really have a kitchen table really because no one comes here besides my girlfriend and um, usually we just go out to eat if I'm with her. We'll go to like a steakhouse or I'll go somewhere nice. Um, and when I'm cooking for myself, I like to just sit at my desk so I can plan the work that I'm gonna do. That's really all I do during the day if I'm not going to the gym. So yeah, I've got protein, some healthy fats, no carbs right now because I gotta stay focused, but I get to look forward to those carbs towards the end of the day, and man, am I excited. All right, so finished eating, and right now, I'm doing some, I'm doing some work, uh, if you can see, here is a spread of a bunch of my clients. Um, that is my daily routine. But what I'm doing right now is I'm assigning them to a new software that I have just invested in and I've been spending the last two weeks building out tons and tons and tons of meals, meals that I've created, meals that I've found and I've gathered. Um, like this is, Literally one of my favorite breakfast recipes right here. It's like a smoothie protein bowl um, that I've created and you can see a lot of these some of these are straight up from this software already in here a lot of them I've added from a bunch of the recipe packs that I've created. I'll go and show you guys one right now. Here's one um, I actually gave some of this away as a uh, lead magnet. Uh, but here's one of my high protein recipe packs that all of my clients get. Um, it's fully built out based on some of my favorite meals and this one is kinda themed around spicing it up a little bit instead of just having the simple ground beef and stuff like this. This is one of my favorite meals. It's these egg and turkey stuffed peppers. This is just like a little snack. My mom actually used to make me this and, uh, when I was younger, and this is something that I absolutely love. So you can see every single one of them has a MyFitnessPal barcode scanner. It's got all the macros in there and then every single one of the ingredients, what you need in the prep time. You can see this goes all the way down. There's 50 of these meals, but now inside of my new program, there are hundreds of meals that I've created and exactly the ingredients, what you need to do, everything like that. And then if you go over and some of my programs that I'm just creating for some of them. So that's something that I've been working on very, very hard and it's something I'm really excited to get them all on. So what I'm doing now is I'm transferring them from that original software I had them on, which was good, but there were some things that I didn't like, some difficulties between the communication, um, and I didn't like that. And so I've created a Slack channel that we can communicate in, get on our one-on-one -on -one call in, and with this new software, they will easily be able to access their custom meal plan that I create for them based on their macros, and they'll be able to see their training program, all of the videos that I've created uh, of me performing the exercise for them. It's honestly impossible if they put in the work for them to not reach their goals. That is the biggest mission that I've had is to make it that once you come and you start working with me, you work with Aggression Fitness, if you're willing to put in the work, it is physically impossible for you to not reach the goals that, that you want to reach. And those one-on-one -on -one group calls just make it even 
better. Like anything that you could be struggling with, we always work it out and we mastermind in those. So that's my one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's sort of what I'm working on right now. Um, I've gotten a bunch of resources done in the school community. So this is just some, some moves that I'm making right now, some, some big things that I'm working with because my business is my main focus because my business truly affects how many people I can impact. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to have gotten this camera. <laughs> just the quality genuinely makes me happy that I can actually not have to look at a, a crappy iPhone video. But that's what I'm working on right now. I'm gonna get some more of this done, um, type away, probably a few more hours uh, of working on this. And I've got a elite call with one of my clients at 2.30 and then I have a sales call at three. And after that, I've got nothing else on the books. So I'm gonna get to working. I like to feel like a wizard on my computer. Uh, when I just get in the zone, I can work for, for four or five hours straight. Just, just one of my favorite things to do besides training, just get in that flow state and, and work. And after that, after my last sales call, I'll have another meal and really debating on if I should go train back and shoulders, even though today's supposed to be my rest day. We shall see, we shall see. When I met you in the summer To my heart beat sound We fell in love As the leaves turned brown And we could be together Alright guys, so I'm having a productive day. It's been good so far. I just got off a client call. I've assigned all of my clients to the new software that I have up and running. I'm reading some, um, I'm reading some hate comments on YouTube right now. <laughs> I'm playing. I, uh, I like to go through and, 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 and see what people are saying and, and respond to them sometimes. I find it hilarious when people leave like hate comments because I'm like, eh. like I think they're all just CPMs. They're not even real people. Um, the, the people that are positive though, I like to find their comments and, and, and get, respond to them or, or heart their comment. Um, and then I just see all like the brainless NPCs like commenting random shit. You know what I always think that if you, if I see, if I see something I don't like on, on like social media, which I'm not on social media much, I'm just gonna like, scroll around it, right? If you comment, you're literally giving validation to that person. It's like seeing a pile of dog shit and stepping in it instead of walking around it. I'm like, no one told you to watch my video, bro. No one told you to watch my video, so you're telling everyone that I have so much control over you that I made you watch my video and comment. I think it's the most retarded thing ever, but yeah. About to jump on this sales call. Um, depending on what this guy is, what he's like, what his determination is, maybe I'll bring him into aggression fitness, I don't know. I get so many leads and so many people booking these calls with me that I turn down a lot of people, I'll be honest, because most people don't have what it takes and I don't like to onboard people that aren't willing to give it their all, right? And I, I don't wanna fill up the spot with someone who only wants it a little bit and is gonna half-ass it when there's another person who's gonna give their all and truly needs the program. So anyone that books a call, if you are not 100% committed, this isn't for you because there's someone else who's gonna work twice as hard as you, who's in a worse situation than you, who's willing to invest and actually get the result. And that's the client that I'm gonna to wanna to work with 100% of the time. Because when I'm giving all of my effort that I have, I expect nonetheless so that we can reach your goals together. All right guys, so I just jumped off that call. It was actually a no-show, which is pretty odd. I haven't had one of those in a long time. I don't understand why someone would go out of the way to say, hey, I need help, and then not show up. I mean, okay, like stay in the exact same position that you're in, that's fine. Um, but not too worried about it, like I don't, I, I get a bunch of leads and the amount of no-shows that I have is very, very low. So um, that's bro's fault, he's gonna have to deal with that. However, what I'm gonna do now is finally go eat my first carb meal. I'm fucking excited, I'm absolutely starving after sitting my ass at this desk all day long like I do every day. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to head down to um, where I, where my parents live and, and meet up with my dad. We have a little e-commerce business that we run together and there's a deal that we need to do 
together. So I'm just gonna take my laptop, go down there, but real quick, I'm gonna wash some dishes, I'm gonna get a meal, and then I'll see you guys down there. That's probably gonna be the end of my day, unless I end up doing something extra fun. I'm gonna bring you guys with me, obviously, but most likely, I'm gonna see y'all back here at the end of the day, doing some more work and getting ready for tomorrow's aggression talk. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. All right guys, I made it to the other side of town. I was absolutely starving and I wanted to go get a nice steak, a nice grass fed steak from one of my favorite steakhouses around here, but I was so hungry I just didn't feel like waiting. So I, um, I fumbled a little bit and I got a, a steak bowl from Chipotle. I'm literally gonna sit here throw this down in my car because I've got a solid three more meals before I meet my macros for today and um, I haven't eaten in like five hours and that is unusual for me after the work day is over so I'm gonna throw this down head to my parents house meet up with my dad get this deal done but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that I was about to fucking devour this man it's pretty crazy to be back in this garage um, it's about 9.30 p.m. after I ate my Chipotle, I got home, I did a little bit of work, and then me and my dad finally finished that business deal. Um, we got assigned, everything's good, so we've got some product that's gonna be coming in. Um, we finally reached an agreement on uh, the prices, and yeah, I went over and I had dinner with my girl's family, hung out for a little bit, talked to her dad about some politics, Nothing's better than that, I'm not gonna lie, that was my favorite part. But I decided I was gonna stay at my parents' house because, like I said, it's 9.30, I don't wanna drive all the way back to my side of town. And um, to be honest, in the morning I'm gonna go back to my old gym where I originally started filming the aggression talks. I'm gonna do cardio and I'm gonna film another aggression talk in the same parking spot where I used to film them. I think that'll be pretty cool and I'm gonna film them on my new camera. So that concludes the day in the life video. Nothing fancy. I just worked on myself, worked on my business and increased my ability to serve others and become the greatest version of man that I can be. And if you ask me, nothing's more fulfilling than that. Nothing's more joy filled than that. I get to go to sleep knowing I get to do it again tomorrow. I get to experience new experiences, I get to solve new problems, and I get to push myself over and over again. That's what it's all about. Um, as always, like, subscribe, comment, anything that you guys wanna see. I make a video about almost all the comments that I see when people ask me questions like that. I put a video out, so go ahead, let me know, and if you watch this far and you're ready to change your life and you're tired of doing it alone, Click the link, join the school community in the description. I promise it will be the best investment you've ever made in your life besides working one-on-one -on -one with me. I love y'all boys, stay aggressive.